What's up my people? Today a little maintenance working on a knock sensor. It's NOX. I'll get the part number as soon as I get the parts. It's a uh it's in the def system after treatment system. There's an inlet on the turbo and an outlet on the SCR heading out the exhaust. The outlet is the one that's throwing the code. Had a check engine light a couple times come on in the summer. It's just a little wrench one. Show you in the cab. So let me turn the key on. That little wrench. Hang on. Radio off. Let me cycle it again for you because it's not on now, but it comes on frequently. So it's that little wrench one will come on. It will pop on, stay on for about 20 minutes, and then come off. So I had it uh I had an ABS update recall, which does the whole diagnostic screen inside the home screen. So got that done yesterday, and on the way back down, there was lights started coming on, and it was telling me to park it immediately, bring it to service shop. I ran it to Cummins, they scanned it two hours, three hours, and finally come up with it's that. Hopefully it is, because it's a $600 part. Let's get to it, let's pull some panels. So this is your inlet knock sensor right here. So don't mistake the two. There's an inlet and then the outlet's under there. And that goes right into your turbo. Already pulled the most of them off. So this should just pop right off. There's four of them, I believe. All right. Let's see what we got. This was already replaced on a recall and the inner one in here. Um, these are temperature sensors looking for the, there it is right there. So it's right here, seven eighths. They make a special tool for that, but you could probably get it out with, this one's easy to get out. Let's see, seven eighths. couple zip ties and then go underneath the truck and pull the clips and I pull or the bracket and I believe it's going to be a 13 millimeter but we'll get this off and that's the $600 doobie right there there's a little clip here you got to just zip tie Snap that off with a clippers and uh there's one in the bottom too. Okay, that one's off. Let that go down in so I can see where I'm going with it. There's like a little chase here. Pull that chase out. That way you know. Where it is, which wire I'm looking at down below. All right, let's get on the creeper and go under the truck. All right, under the truck. Follow your wire. Here it is coming out. There's another zip tie right there. Coming right up to this, which is this side. This is another plug that plugs into it, but you're not gonna take that off. So I'll unplug that. And then these are the 13 millimeter here. Two of them. Get these off. We'll take it out. Give you the part number. Grab your other zip tie. And she should come out. Oh, one more zip tie right here. One more here. Then she'll come out. There she is. In my hand. All right, here's the part number. It is a 289493RX. The RX isn't on this, but if you look it up on the internet, it would be RX. Back on site. <laughs> I know you guys wanted to hear that. So did I. So anyways, just came back from uh, getting the parts from Cummins. Like I said, the new number and the same number is with the RX. So 289-4943-RX. Now this video is 
uh, you know, it's for my subscribers, but it's also for newcomers that are going to be searching for this that are working on these because there's really no videos on this uh, knock sensor. I tried to look to find the location myself, and this is for a T800, and that location is right here. Simple and easy to get to. I know some trucks are underneath, and it's a lot harder. Um, if my subscribers do want to see more fix it videos and stuff like this because they're short and they're you know they're just fixing things i got things on this truck that i got to get done this week i got uh an oil leak here in the power steering you know that's been there last year i noticed it started weeping more and more so that's got to get fixed got to diagnose what's going on there i may have to just replace that whole uh it's a little like radiator right here for the power steering Maybe replace that. It's probably just leaking in this line. It could be leaking here. Don't know yet. Got to dig into that. And there's, then I got a PTO I want to pull off that's sweating and dripping. So I'm just trying to fix all the leaks before we start running this thing hard again. Um, and like I said, I got a lot of maintenance things. But it's cold. It's 20 degrees. I'm out here on no heat, no shop. You guys know how it is. All right. Let's get this box opened up. See what we got in here. Brandy Nooski. Take that cap off. And we are going to install. She comes with some never sees on her. So if it doesn't, throw some on there. Make your life a lot easier when you go to try to get this out. I'm just gonna put this in hand tight for now till I even though this does swivel so you can't kink this, but I'm just gonna throw it hand tight. I'm gonna work my wires around and hook them back into this chase. Then put a zip tie there and a zip tie in the back. Meet you in the bottom. All right, pull that back out because this box does not fit between there. You got to feed this up through. All right, got that fed up through. Make sure she's clean. It's got a little never sees on. I don't think that's going to hurt anything. That burns so hot. But I still like to... be perfect get that hand tight this is gonna go on the, the back side of this let's see if i can get that under that bracket yep and then it goes in this little chase and make sure you get it in here and get it in right because if you don't this thing gets so hot you'll burn up and you don't want to spend another 620 dollars that part costs by the time you're done with the state tax and stuff, another 220 to diagnose it, so I'm into an eight and a half, you know? Craziness. All right, back under the truck. Put these 13 millimeter bolts back in. One there. There's one up there. Grab it down here. Bear with me. Of course, the washer was off. What we got here? Can't see. There it is. Get that 13 mil in its home. We'll snug them up. Get the wrench on them and, uh, back over here to this chase and we got to get this in there get in there where does that go oh, that goes underneath there's a little doopty there underneath it and it goes on top there still got to work it from up above to get it but we'll get these snugged up then that Gets plugged in. This plug goes. Make sure she's clean. This plug goes up into here. Plug that back in. Make sure she clicks and seats. And uh, we're all installed. We gotta just tighten things up above and throw a couple zip ties. And we'll see if the light went out. This is where I was saying up above. We gotta make sure it's in there. In that chase. Let me grab a screwdriver just make sure she's tucked up in and off there just like that 
So this, this is clear. You can run a screwdriver right through. Because if that rubber, the moyers are touching here, that gets so hot. You want to, you can't believe how hot that gets. All right, we're going to go 17 mil. Back on, or 7 eighths, I mean. Just wiggle that before you zip tie it. We'll go 7 eighths on that. I'm liking that. There's two holes there. Put the zip tie down in the one and up through the other. Allows you to pull it. Bingo. Another zip tie here. There's the old one. Last but not least, right here. Done. Just double check. Everything's tight. Nothing's touching where it shouldn't be. Looking good. Boom, boom. Connections are good. Brackets good. Ready to go. Let's cycle that key. Give her three cycles on the, the key like this, and that should reset the codes. Supposedly. Um... So you'll hear it. you'll hear the pump cycle and it, it stopped there. So that's one. Wait till it kicks off, and then do it two more times, and we'll fire it. Run over here real quick so you can hear it. You hear them clicking? It's doing a signal read and all that when you cycle that key. All right, let's see. That's good. That's the fan. So always on the startup, your fan will be on and then it will it will knock off and that light goes out. So that's normal. Those two red dots there are your air pressure. Once they're built up, they go off. This is my ABS. I got that recall and the right wheel sensor is not touching or there's a short. So most likely it's just not touching the gap between there. So that's gonna be another fix that I'm gonna fix on that. And that's been on since I bought the truck. But I checked so many wheels, I couldn't find it. And then they pinpointed me which one it was. And this is uh, this is about that recall. This whole, this, all this wasn't working before. That was part of it. Well, the cluster was working, it just, there was an update. So, uh, they just updated the software, which gave me a little more options how to diagnose the truck. But let's make sure there's no leaks here. Looking good. Let's put these panels back on. Replace the outlet. Don't get it confused. Two different parts, two different sensors. All right, everybody. Hope you enjoyed. Again, this was for a 2013 T800 NOx sensor, NOx oxygen sensor, and it uh, or nitrogen, and it uh, is for the after treatments the uh, DPS system. Hope everybody enjoyed. Thumbs up. Thanks guys.